Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today we're out here to fish a spinning combo and a float rig with some chartreuse shad gulp minnows. Let's see if we can catch some jumbo panfish, maybe even a small bass. Last time I was out here doing any pan fishing, I was fishing at the other end of the lake and I caught some big ones. If you haven't watched that video, you might want to check it out after this one. Let's get a minnow on here and see if we can get a bite. We might have to look around a little bit to find these bluegill, but they're out here somewhere. I know they are. I had a bite. I set the hook. It came flying back at me. Let's keep going. Yeah, last time I was out here, I was catching some eight inchers, you know, about the size of my hand. I'm hoping for some more action like that. Yeah, so far I think these fish are too small. To actually grab the hook. They're just biting the tail because I'm not hooking any. Let's keep looking though. I might need to adjust the depth on the bobber as well. They might be down a little bit deeper than I'm fishing right now. There we go, let's, got them. Right alongside the dock. First fish of the day, and it's a decent bluegill. Let's check, how oh, you, let's check him out. He doesn't want to lay down. We got about a seven and a half inch bluegill here. Stabbed me pretty good. Let's let him go. <laughs> All right, that's fish number one. Let's fix up my minnow, it still looks good. And we're gonna keep fishing it. I might need to be closer to the dock. I got that bite right away. Out here, five feet away from the dock, not getting anything. There we go. Come on. Got him. Second fish right here. Feisty, whatever it is. Another bluegill. Lay down. There we go. Just about eight inches. That's a nice one. I wouldn't call it a jumbo like some of those fish I was catching last time, but it is nice. It's definitely a keeper, but I'm going to wait till the spawn is over. Still got my minnow. It's getting a little bit beat up, but it's still on there and we're going to fish it again. What am I at so far? 
two nice bluegill. Yeah, let's try over here. Fish, first cast. That feels like a good bluegill. Yeah, that feels like a good one. Nice. There we go. Nice bullgill. There we go. There's that jumbo I'm after. Woo! Take a look at that. Amazing color on this. Deep blue right here. Some green. This kind of purplish color right across the center. Now that is a gorgeous bluegill. Got him out there by that tree. It's a little bit muddy here, so I'm going to give him a toss. And my gulp minnow came off, so we're going to get a new one on here. My name is Dewey Cash, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's keep going. Maybe there's another one over here. Oh, I think I might have had a bite there. Got him. There we go. Another nice bluegill putting up a hell of a fight. Yes, yes. The sun is starting to go down behind the trees and I'm getting some nice big bluegill like this. Another keeper, but like I said, I'm waiting for him to spawn and then I might keep a few. Let's let him go. Let's get cleaned up here and get back to it. Oh, again, same thing. Took it under, but by the time I set the hook, nothing there. I will get you and then let you go. Hey, something swiped at the bobber. Got him. There we go. Another feisty bluegill. Not quite as large as those last few, but still a decent fish. Yeah, look at this one. We got like a six incher here. I feel like I'm moving away from the fish, so we're gonna turn around and head back the other way. I'm just not getting as many bites over here, so let's focus on this area. I'm Slim from Wisconsin, Milwaukee. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Fish. Wow, good pull, good pull. That's a fighter, that's a fighter. Nice, nice big bluegill. Again, totally keeper size. Man, that looks great. These bluegill are very impressive and I'm glad they're biting right now.
got him. As soon as it hit the water, this one feels a little bit better. Splashing around out there. Nice. Another nice one. Yeah, long one. This one's about eight inches long, but it's not very tall. I have a feeling this is a female. Let's let her go. And just so you know, what I call a jumbo is eight and a half, nine inch bluegill, nice and tall, nice and thick. And where you live, there might be bigger bluegill than that. But what really gets on my nerves is when I get comments, all caps, that is not a jumbo bluegill. I'll take you fishing to a secret pond in the middle of Virginia where there's truly large jumbo bluegill, blah, blah, blah. First of all, if you're going to come ragging the size of my fish, I never want to go fishing with you. And I don't care about your private pond with the huge bluegill. I got my fish. You got yours. You don't need to come telling me my fish suck and yours are better. I'm instantly going to ignore you. Let's get back to fishing. Got him. That feels like a good one. Splashing around out there, causing a ruckus. Oh yes! For me, this is a jumbo bluegill. I don't care if you are fishing in Florida and can catch one two inches larger than this. This is where I live. This is where I can fish. And when I catch bluegills like this, I'm happy. Look at that. Larger than my hand by about a half inch. Eight and a half inch bluegill here. Nice and tall. Good color. Yes. Yes. I call this a jumbo bluegill. Deal with it. What's up guys? This is your homeboy Pelon from the state of Guerrero right here in Mexico and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. I gotta say that went fairly well. If you're into fishing for panfish like bluegill, now is a great time. Especially in smaller bodies of water like this. The water's warming up. They're getting ready to spawn. So go out there, catch some big bluegill, and have a good time. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.